So section 1.8 is kind of review after our previous sections in uh, chapter 1. So just one kind of step farther, we've been distributing numbers over parentheses to get rid of the parentheses and simplify, but we haven't seen with a negative number so far. We have, but it was just briefly. So property of negative 1, for any real number, negative 1 times a is negative a. So, find an equivalent expression without parentheses for these examples. So, in reality, this negative on the front is negative 1. To get rid of the parentheses, I have to distribute negative 1 to each term. And when that happens, we're looking at negative 4 minus y. All right. So, everything on the inside changed sign. It was positive before, now it's negative. Positive before, now it's negative. All right, let's get in another. Negative on the outside, so everything on the inside is going to change sign when it's just a negative 1. If, it, if it's a different constant other than 1, negative 1, then when we distribute, things will change on the inside more than just by the opposite sign. So, negative 2x, negative 3y, negative 4z. And lastly, we can have another mix of variables. But in this case, I have a negative on the inside, so I have to be careful. So negative 4a, negative 3t, and positive 10. So take those two tries. Find an equivalent expression without parentheses. All right, so what did you get out of the first one? If I distribute a negative, all my signs change. Same thing down here, just a negative one. If I distribute all of my signs on the inside are going to change. All right, so next page, removing parentheses and simplifying. In this first case, if I have 5x plus 2x plus 3, what am I multiplying this quantity by? Why have I grouped those together? What's on the outside? Just a factor of 1. So if I distribute a positive 1 in, is it going to change anything? So positive 1 times 2x will give us 2x. Positive 1 times 3 will give us 3. So in that case, did the parentheses matter? Parenthesis didn't matter. But... What if I have a negative on the outside of the parentheses? Then do the parentheses matter? Can I just drop them? So in this case, I could drop the parentheses and I have the same exact expression. But in this case, the parentheses do matter because what is this telling me to do? Distribute to each of them. So if I just drop the parentheses, I would not get the same expression because this would still be positive. So when we have a negative on the outside or any number other than one, the parentheses matter. All right. So what law with addition only allows us to drop the parentheses and combine like terms? So when I group things together, what law am I using? Or if I remove groupings, what law am I using? The associative law of addition in this case. All right, so we'll do a few more. A few examples, 6y minus quantity 3y plus 12. And I want to simplify at the end, so I'm going to combine any like terms that I have. So the first thing we have to do, get rid of the parentheses. So I distribute a negative in. So 6y didn't change, and now I have minus 3y minus 12. And I have two like terms. These, both of these numbers are in terms of y, so we can combine them together. All together, we have three factors of y. For part b, again, what is on the outside of our parentheses? Minus. So parentheses matter. We have to distribute to get rid of it. So 2x plus 3, that's not changing. Minus 8x. Minus times a minus is going to give us a what? plus 5 on the end. And again, we can combine our like terms. So all together, how many factors of x do I have? 
negative 6 of them. And my constants, if I add them together, I have 8 on the back. All right. So in this uh, example, we have two different groupings, two set of parentheses. So let me ask you this question. Do the parentheses matter on this first piece? What are we multiplying by out front? So 1. So these parentheses don't matter, because if I distribute 1, it's not going to change anything. So we can drop the parentheses for the first bit of our expression. But what about over here? Do those parentheses matter? Yeah, because I have to distribute a negative in to get rid of those. So let's do that. I have minus a, minus b, and what am I going to get over here? Minus times a minus gives us a plus. So we can combine our a terms together. I've got two, and I'm taking away one, so I've got one factor left. b, I have three here, and I'm taking away one, so now I'm left with two of those. And I have five factors of c. All right, take those two tries, remove the parentheses, and simplify. So what did you get in those two? Parentheses did matter in both cases, since we have a negative on the outside. So 5x didn't change, and now I'm looking at minus 2x minus 10. So altogether, we had three factors of x, and constant negative 10 on the back. In this example, first two terms weren't changed, but I need to distribute this negative to get rid of the parentheses. So we had a 1 factor of x and a minus 5 for the constants on the end. Alright, so the last little part of this chunk of the section, we're going to look at multiplying numbers in other than plus and minus 1. So in this next example, I now have a negative 3 times this quantity. So we have to send both the negative and the 3 into each to be able to get rid of those parentheses. So x on the front, he's not changing, but now I have minus 3 times x will give me minus 3x. And a minus 3 times y will give me minus 3y. So we can combine our like terms. I have negative 2 factors of x, negative 3 factors of y. All right, for b, I have a fraction, and it's negative. Can I still distribute that guy? Sure. Same exact concept, but a little bit more work. So again, what has to happen? Both the negative and two-fifths to each term. So 2y is a change, and I have negative two-fifths times 5y. So that times my first term, that times my second term, minus two-fifths times negative 10. And we can simplify, get it in a nicer form. So what is this one going to simplify to? I have the same thing divided by the same thing, so I'm left with minus 2y. So what's going to happen with these two? They're going to be gone. And I have a minus times a minus, so that's going to turn into a plus. 5 goes into 10 how many times? 2. So 2 times 2 gives me 4 left over. So again, these two are going to cancel. We're left with 4. A lot simpler than what we started with. Last, until you give it a shot, 2x plus 3y minus 2 times this quantity. So again, the parentheses do matter. We need to distribute the negative 2 into every single term on the inside. So these ones are unaffected. Negative 2 times my first term will give me minus 2x. Negative 2 times the second one plus 10y, negative 2 times the third one, minus 6z. So we want to make it look nicer, we'll combine our like terms. So what's going to happen with my 2x and a minus 2x? Those are going to be gone. I'm going to have 13 factors of y and negative 6 factors of z. All right, so three for you to try. Remove the parentheses and simplify. So in this first example, what are you left with? Again, 2y is unchanged. I need to distribute negative 1 third to each of these terms. So negative 1 third times 9y is going to give us minus 3y. 
Negative times a negative will give us a positive. 12 divided by 3 is 4. Then, what about down here? Well, are we done there? I guess I should ask. We can combine like terms. I have negative y plus 4. Now we're done there. So now down here, I just want to get to the exciting case. What about a decimal? Does it still work the same? I have to distribute to each of these to get rid of these parentheses. I have to distribute 1.5 to each of those to get rid of those parentheses. So yeah, we're looking at 27.2x minus 6.8 plus 3x minus 4.5. So combining our x's together, we're going to have 30.2x. Combining the constants, minus 11.3. So the concept is still the same. If we have a fraction out front or a decimal, you still have to distribute to get rid of those parentheses. And last, the parentheses do matter because we have minus 2 out on the front. So x is unchanged, negative 2 times a will give us minus 2a, minus 2b, minus 2c, each of those terms. And can we combine any of those? They're not like terms. So it is finished as it stands.